let's talk about some Australia Reed stuff. Okay, <laughs> yes, um, yes. And I'd love to know kind of the process of getting involved with that you know, as an ambassador for this year, um, kind of how did that come about? Is there anything you're super excited for, that sort of thing? Well, the way I got in, involved in it, they were like, Will, my publisher, she's like, look, you're going to hate me, but I know you're really stressed writing two books back to back, but do you want to maybe write a third book? And I'm just like, if I think about it, I'm going to say no. So I'm just going to say yes. And I love writing shorter stories. You know, um, that's where I got my start. Um, in high school, it was really writing those small potent stories with those gut punch endings. I just loved that. And so getting involved was exciting and nerve wracking. So I was writing a draft of Rebel Gods and then jumping into a draft of The Greatest Hit and back and forth and back and forth. And it sort of, it broke my brain, but in the best possible way. Um, yeah, so, and I'm really excited to now, you know, get into schools and to host events to sort of promote reading. You know, when we, when I was pitched it, you know, it was a different world. There would have been an Australia wide tour, you know, mm. doing more of the things that I'm used to, um, getting kids inspired to read and all that sort of stuff. Can't do all of that now. And we're trying to do the best we can virtually um, and to sort of build those connections. And I think the greatest hit, which is about sort of building those connections in COVID, I think that's a, it's, it's a book definitely for this time and it's definitely a book for Australia Reads. But, you know, reading has been such a huge help for me this year. Like I've gotten into audiobooks in a big way. When I go for my daily walks, like I plug in a new book from my local library and I listen to it and I absolutely love escaping into a book in audio form. And then I find I come home and I want to read a different book in paper for, in paperback form. And so I'm now, I've gone from being one of those people who's like, I can only read one thing at a time. Now I'm listening to an audio book of one book and reading another book. And, you know, it's, it's been really great for me. And that kept me motivated and that kept me inspired this year when all the other things I could do to get inspired, hanging out with friends, you know, touring schools, having, you know, life experiences outside of these four walls, I couldn't do all of that stuff. And so reading saved me and it's, you know, it is so good for your brain. Yeah. And, you know, if there's anything else that I want people to get out of it, you know, that is so vital, especially for teenagers who start to disengage from reading in high school. And they're like, oh, four books for school is enough. I can just skim them anyway. Um, and it's just, encouraging kids especially in year 11 and year 12 to make time for reading for fun and building that habit like it's a difficult habit to keep especially yeah. as you get older um so anything I can do to sort of improve that I think that's really important and you know reading reduces stress all that sort of stuff we all know the statistics I need, that. <laughs> need that now yeah. 